Welcome back to Wilder Mid with me, Barden. Okay, so we're going to do a new story. So we've got two stories left to do. I'm going to start with uh, All the Bones of Summer. It's going to be probably a short one, right about an hour or so to start. And then we'll have longer ones going on after that to get through it as quickly as possible. Right, so... We're going to start here. So all the bones of summer, bones were buried here, bones were burned in the ground where their beds all lie. All become fossils for fantasy. All become stories once true. They count on a dream as they spiral towards sleep. Fire follows fire until colour is ash. A five chapter story with Draven as the main threat. Okay. So. We are going to... Stay with Tragic Hero because, as you can see, that's pretty much the limit of my ability. And, you know, probably Adventure would be better for me. Uh, but I think we can get through on Tragic Hero. We might have to do a few reloads on big, big battles and stuff like that. But we should be able to get through it. Walking lunch, I, I don't think I'm good enough at the game to do that. I don't. I doubt I'll ever get good enough at the game to be able to do that. But trying to hear what we should be able to do. And it's the same one that we did the last story on as well. So yeah, we should be okay. I, I think in terms of this difficulty, in for each of the chapters, getting a good start is imperative, I think. But we're going to go next. Okay, and then, so, okay, so we have these guys here. So we have, um, Luznok is from our legacy. Okay. So what we're going to do is, this one, we're going to focus on, you know, mostly new people. If we get people from legacy, okay, but mostly try and get some new people in. And then the final story we're going to try and get as many from our legacy as possible because it's going to be like a pretty much a goodbye to to um the to the cast of characters that we've had through all these different stories but yeah for this one let's go with a few new people so we have hamish who is an aloof coward is a hunter then Kernigan, who is a snarky hothead, is a warrior. Luznok, who is a romantic loner, he's a mystic. I think he didn't stay around for too long, if I remember correctly. Then it's Rivni, who is a snarky poet, and she is a warrior. Okay, so a couple of snarky people. We're now going to start. And yeah, indignance. So you can see... He didn't stay around that long. He only has one ability there. Okay. A mountain should have opened its jaws to swallow you. With that much consequence, it would have made more sense. Instead, there was only a smell and it rose from you. There was me and your body. Then me and your bones. Now I send you word aloft on the smoke that was once your breath. Tonight, I begin the endeavor you thought we'd complete together. I know our maps, our myths, our every calculation. I hold them in me. But I'm frail where you were strong. I'm fit best for teaching, yet I have no pupil. So it's down to me, down to real, last and least better of our hope for our failed people. Okay. Shortly after dawn, the far fairground stirs with cheery morning noise. Excitement jolts and jigs among the grass blades. Hamish's cooking pot creaks on its fixture, nuzzled by the wind. Not eager to watch you get your nose broken. 
Know who you drew for the final? Powerful woman. Name's Rivni. Pallet speak. Seen her around town. Supposed to have a sort of fluid way to her. Someone who studied form, but knows how to make it natural. Yeah? Maybe an interesting contrast. The two of you. I wouldn't want to be the artful one in that fight. How's my morning stew smell? Smells like warm, dead rat body. Nice. The fair comes each year to Glom Wild, heralding winter. Sets up half a day from the town of Grey Rose in a basin between tree shorn slopes. With it comes hawkers or fairborn goods, bell voice storytellers, corn cooks, and distractions of all kinds. Easy on the smoke, kids. Kids. And just to be... If I start losing my head, going too hard, shout out. Don't want to hurt the woman. Hmm, yeah. I don't know what you just said, but this place is a lot. Suddenly, I thought how a real dragon would look, stalking and burning through the tents. Maybe your opponent won't show up. That'd be nice. Perhaps most famous and nearly awaited of all the events at the Leather Budge Wandering Fair is the tournament. Experts and amateurs in ten combat disciplines come to bash their way up the rankings. Some folks delight in the show, gamblers sees shifting odds, and leave rejoicing or tightening their belts. Still waiting on a Carnegie swear vein. Stave sparring. You've been waiting on the winner. I remember... Ah, I remember your mug. Here, sign on the thing. The line, you mean. Is your name Rivni Palatsvik? People call me that. Or call me other things. Hamish is me. You're facing Kerrigan. Kind of my friend. Or at least, yeah. Not throwing the match, if that's what you want to ask purpose of a bout is to reveal our natures. One of us is weaker, one stronger. In a fight like this, we aren't opposed. We're in concert with each other. We're united in the music of truth. All right, this is the final bout for staff. You both know the rules. Let's get it going. Had it hard, that girl. Father was forced to leave her. Go far away, from what I understand. Her mother turned mean. Harsh lessons to learn young, but necessary, maybe. The two combatants face each other. You look like a man who doesn't come home often. They say on a fair day, hearts can open. The bell clangs, they begin to circle. As the fight swirls, gathering energy, Hamish is struck by a lightning thought. Okay, well, let's roll for it. He has to confess his heart to Kerrigan. Today I decide to do it... Today. Okay. Okay, so Rivni Pallet Spake is the foe. Right. What's best to do? I think so. Let's move here and then Guardian. Blocked. Okay, now good start. Nope. Strike. Blocked. Okay, at least we blocked that one, but we're still behind. Yeah, still behind. Oh, and now we're screwed. <laughs> no. Oh, we blocked, okay. Oh, but then she blocked us, and now she's gonna finish it. No? Okay. 
But we have to hit her three times at her hitting us. And there we go. Okay, so she won. Kevin stumbles down in obvious pain. The sighs and cheers of onlookers mingle. The match is decided. Winner, Rivni Palatspeak. Your girl did well. Kerrigan's probably not ready to stay down. I'll help him. This kind of thing is for queens. Hey, it's all right. Let go. Ah, Hamish. Sorry. The audience clears out quickly, summoned away by the prospect of other spectacles. And now a prize for our stave sparring champion. It's cut from the stone hardiest fire oak tree in the north. Then painstakingly shaped by his silent and sultan haired masters, living tall and ocean torn cliffs, descendants of seafaring people. Yes. I present you with this oft overlooked weapon of the hero's cannon, the Elnish War Staff. That's what my card says, anyway. I will trust the card. Listen, I'm glad you finished things the right way. I walked countless miles, crossed unnumbered, unmapped lands, and came back in order to. Tell me while your journeys and wonders doesn't exactly help me like you. Mulling his defeat, Kemigan roves the fair with Hamish. Yes, yeah, so um, Kemigan, not in a serious way, but you want to go look around with me? Tent to tent, they sift through adventuring antiques and handcrafted oddments. Far away smells billow in every bright campus. Atlantis sights abound wherever their eyes wander. And they can follow the laughter to find sweet foods and cups of joy. The better part of the day disappears and they find themselves sidling in with the crowds to see the fair's final show. It's supposed to be quite good this year. Anticipatory murmurs flow amongst the attendees. Even a tinge of unacknowledged terror is there. What is it? It's soon obvious obvious why. He's a drive. Careful. They find seats near a pair of familiar faces. Mumble, yawn. <coughs> After sun bakes their necks. Afternoon sun bakes their necks. At last, the Fairmaster's face pops into view. You appear to be waiting for someone. Ha! I'm kidding, of course. Here. I am flesh and steel, knight of the nightless star, Arnie Leatherbridge. Renowned warrior Arnie Leatherbridge, retired though he may be, still possesses remarkable agility. We of the Leatherbridge Wandering Fair thank you humbly for filling our quaint tents with life these past three days. Surely you came hearing rumours from travellers who saw us in summer and fall. Did you wonder if such a thing might be? Now you can see the truth for yourself. You gaze on my pride and crowning achievement, the diamond. I've been fifteen years in carbon. Behold, this is too vain. So was the beast named, named by a warlord who wore the framers of our fellows on its neck. Named by a warlord whose head I claimed and tail I split. A body stomped to mulch. On its pub, I showed mercy. Mercy, hmm? Oh, I would advise to put it down, but instead I caged it. I took the monster alive, its name intact. Beneath my own roof, I fed it, clothed it, I tamed it. And should you doubt my word? A collective gasp arises as the creature easily removes the bar of its prison and steps free. He let, he let everyone walk right up to it. Don't let it frighten you, friends. To vain may be the, the spawn of a driving warlord, tremendously huge and mighty, yes. It does as I command. 
He reaches for a spear that they supposed to spar to be no more than a prop. And so I give you the most thrilling, chilling, and realistic enactment of our battles against the Drywood that anyone has ever witnessed. The fair master pauses to let stunned eyes refocus. Existence itself seems to be caught staring. Then the two combatants level their weapons and they clash. The fight must be staged, but the fair master's performance is convincing as he sends a large drow to the ground. To tame Taubane was not an easy task. But there is a language all creatures understand, and Drowben better than most. It's called pain. I fought Drowben my whole career. Even the strongest and most cunning, I cut down. There are no mysteries left in them for me. Soon you will see that they are not so scary as you entered this arena, supposing. Well, I'm not watching this. The drow rises, gathers, waiting for the fair master's signal to attack. Arnie Leatherbudge clicks his tongue. And the drow rushes forward at fearful speed. His course is straight and obvious. But at that moment, what? Ugh. There's no pulse of clar clarity for the fair master, Arnie Leatherbudge. He falls dead, the great sword drops from already loosening fingers. Every present pair of lungs holds still. Yid Yak Conth. The drow bends for the sword and runs. Peace shatters then, bodies flood the paths. As people flee, as fire as spit and fly above the forest of tents, drow and battle cries, foreign to most ears, riddle the air, blending with the screams of bear girls and bear workers, it's a choir of violence. I don't have anything to swing, my bow's back at camp. Eat well, but there's at least a few flame licked shop tents out there, full of them. Urk. I told him it was all. A doomed idea. Little did I know how it would come back on me. I'll burn my fear. This is what I trained for. Okay. Right, so let's see. Let's go with Bow Dance. For you then. Uh, if I don't any does, I'm actually going to reroll. Oh, I can't. I have to choose. I don't like any of these. Like, let's go flash call. And let's do that with you. Okay. So we've got two darts and a stump to, to kill. Right. So let's see. Let's move up that way somewhere. We have to get there. So find weapons for Hamish and Kemenin. To beat the Dragon Raiders. More are coming. Okay. Let's go there to start. So we've got a dickhead there. New interviews now. And constrict them. Good. Okay, for now you hide behind the tent. You are there right beside them. And you're up 
here. Fresh gun. Like so. And you can still step to there. Okay, good. Okay, so slam him. Good hit. You can get to there. You can get to there. I need you to move up. Defeat that. We draw it from this. Stump to right as well. You are going to go here. Yeah, here. Chemigan. Shingle for a company called Remortar Arms. Scatter of weapons and things. Chemigan, this way. Across the fairground, canvases sag and ten, ten all poles topple. Terrible things happen behind the smoke. Announced only by the noise of gurgling death and triumphing hollers. Actually, this is a good. And these arrows. Retreat is already part of their plan. But they'll guard their flank. Your life as a fighter is valuable. Don't throw it away for some, someone helpless. Okay. So, you've got that now. You can start coming. There. Then you have to go there as well. And get a weapon. Okay, I want you to interfuse to fire. And fire leash onto him. Blocked. Revealed you though, and then you're gonna pull back here, and Guardian. So draw him in. Okay, good. Now, so with you. To use the fire again. Try fire this again. Okay, that worked a lot better that time. She's so gonna step forward and then slam you. Okay, so we killed that guy. Good. Now you're gonna um, drop back to here. Not too far. Okay. You come up. Guardian there. Oh, it's done. You're done. Just wondering what was going on. Why aren't they doing anything? Okay, good block there. Okay, we've got a raid night as well coming. Attack you. Reload. Box you back. You're going to interfuse this fire. Fire leash on top of you. Kills you. Excellent. You're going to move forward and shoot them. Okay, that's really good. Need you to move there and guard it. Okay, there's the night thing. Okay, 
need you to move forward. Farley stack on it. Good. We'll take a shot at them. You come forward and swipe them. She's going to come forward then and strike as well. Blocked, okay. Two damage. Then you have a charge as well, okay. So bring her here. Like you, like that. Then you move forward. So that's going to do damage. Okay, then interfuse the boulder. Discus you. Okay, now that should lead the rider. Yeah, okay. And the rider takes damage as well. You then shoot the rider. He marches forward. Strikes you. Okay, dodged. You take one down there. Move forward again. Then discus. Dodged. Okay. You shoot. Missed. Okay, you come forward. Strike. Excellent. Then she moves forward and pin him in. You can only shoot with you then. Oh, apparently not. Okay. Well, let's slam you. Good. Move as well. Okay. And we're done. Okay, excellent. Right, well done to the guys. Black tears drip from chins from the smoke-stained faces of survivors who huddled straight, staring. There's a creek nearby. Water to bottle. Water to boil. The full horror won't be known until all the blazes burn out. Fire. Crouches in the ribs of shredded tents, feasting on fine goods, making ash of art. Yoi, Hamish, what do you see? It's just surprising. That fair master likely deserved what he got, in is my opinion. And the rest of this is angry noise. As we arrived here a few days back, though, I really had no concept of such a thing. It's wreckage and waste. It's weird to look at. You know, I trust your eyes in the wilderness. I can't really say any better than you. But maybe they really stuck to their plan. And then, just got lucky. If you want someone to take it, all out of I can, well... Huh. Anyway, come on. We'll figure out how to get them back for, for this, right? This is my punishment for actually enjoying myself, thinking I could be with you. So you're threatening not to move unless I propose to you, right? Do you understand correctly? The thing to decide on now is how to begin. Evening's near. The nice-shaped moon briefly shines, then gets swayed in grey. My husband and my brother didn't find any others. If you're brave, go have a look yourselves. What took you two so long? Night smooths the world with shadows, leaving a cool blankness where black creases have caught the eye. Pine dodging owls sometimes settle in dirge. Did the perimeter, like you told me, was not. And did some of your double backs, Hamish? These drowning are gone. Of 
course they're gone. I sent you alone, never had any doubt. You, you mean you just wasted my time? Easy there. I probably, I was probably just barking things. Anyway, you look like you wanted to be busy. No one has to listen to him, you know. Miserable father. Probably not the right person to take direction from. Have to listen to someone, though. Does not got us all out of there alive. But my that does not isn't doing anything without a reason. Why don't we let him tell us what really brought him here? In time for the show. Maybe I'll go look for Drowan again. Rubney's yes. I didn't come home only to reconnect with my daughter. But you can afford to hear the details as we go. Hmm. Go where? Those knocks wants me to follow them. The driver, who fled. I'll admit I'm sort of anxious about the idea, but when he said he'd convince you both to come, I started to started to get excited in a silly way, maybe. I wouldn't have looked for a conventional tracker, but Hamish's family's unique. It felt fortuitous. The next day sees them already embarking through the high forest. Prints are scarce and muddied, muddled here. Seems to have purposely staged a split where the ground's hard. They left the survivors of the fair organised and guided by most the most sensible hands amongst them. Themselves recipients of Lugnock's parting direction. Feels like it's about time to name this little group, right? It's something of a tradition, not one I like, but one I choose to observe. Better to die named than anonymous, and yes, daughter of mine, we stand, all of us, in the chance reach of death. They pat forward in a long silence, then... It's that night, as they're stewing bird meat and wild dung roots. The idea sticks. The moose people. What? He always likes to suggest something moose. Don't worry. Okay. So we're going to roll for it. If we do get number four, we're going with the moose people. Right, so let's see what we get. We got a one. Best so far is the Rebellion of the Northern Hawk. So began the tales of the Rebellion of the Northern Hawk. The Rebellion of the Northern Hawk. You know, I actually like it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty memorable. Wait, really? Summer follows spring, follows winter, follows fall. Shadows follow moonrise, follows sunshine, follows squall, and fire one day, follows fire. Okay, so here we are on the map. Guys need to rest up a bit. We only have 100 days to catch them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run it on a bit until they're recovered, and then we're gonna go for the first. Okay. Let's go. So Luznak is the only one who hasn't recovered yet. Okay, we gotta go because we've run through a quarter of our days. Let's get there, scout it. Okay, we go for the assault. You know, we must risk moving in daylight, gain distance, be ready to march in a feather red. A band of human trackers bringing numbers unknown burns at their heels. It is the driver both surprised and a little fearful. Russell. Oh, have you calmed down? Imagine being flinchy at that size. A question. Why am I free you gave? You lack the language you understand, even were I to explain every intricacy. Just trust me. Drownak didn't pull this troop together for no reason. Past their prime tail chewers, maybe, but raiding is their life, their history, and the aim of their ever lives. What meaning is Drownak? What is? You really like that sword, don't you? 
that little bit of problem or it'll make him popular. Drevznak is a name you must learn. He was my elder, my teacher. One of the last great divans of our lore. I'm merely his shadow. We move in Drevznak's honor. Yes, you owe your freedom not to me, but to his wisdom and respect he commanded. For a moment, stay the underway again. Meanwhile, that smoke. The day has been grueling, always a drive on our head, leaving spare sign behind them of having little leaf, much less slept. If it's plainly visible, that means we need to avoid approaching it directly, come at an angle, or we'll be giving them both our flanks. You're really versed in war, in fighting Drowen. Don't be impressed, just want to tell you, but he and that fair master, Arnie Leanderbrudge, student and teacher. You're not even close on that one. Arnie was my senior, but I learned nothing from him. He certainly never tried to teach me. I was there when he slew the Drowen Lord, and he took the son. I argued that if anyone were to raise the Drow, it should be with compassion as you would a human orphan of war. But I was just a greenhorn then. We need to make a decision early, probably. Split and sneak up, or tighten together. Speed, I'll say, is necessary either way. Okay, well, um, let's see what we get. Right. Rivni and I can handle the front. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay, so all heroes plus one armor and warding. Right, so we've got three stumps and three darts to do with. Got one there. And we've got, okay, two assholes there. So let's interfuse that rock to start. And then, uh, no, actually, move you back away from them. Okay, then. Hopefully this discus works. Okay, good. Killed one. Damage the other. It's decent. Now you can go there to get a shot at him. So do that. Good hit. Now once you hear Guardian, then she's gonna go there. And Guardian. Right. Good hit, almost killed you. Take one damage back, that's fine. Okay. Now she can go close to you, so let's do that. Okay, she's gonna slam. You can't quite hit that one. So maybe you finish them off here. Yeah. Okay, so strike you. And then Guardian there. She's gonna slam you. Which is great. We're gonna discus. Okay, good. So we killed three of them so far. You're gonna go here. So you can take a shot at this guy. Okay, great. Right, so there's another dart behind them somewhere as well. So you shoot again. You move to there. Let's cover. She's then going to go there and Guardian as well. You're going to move up and then interfuse that tree. Splinter Blast. I oh, won't catch you, guy, but let's Splinter Blast you at least. Good. Got rid of your armor. Okay, take one damage there. Got the other guy coming. Okay, we killed you. Excellent. Now we have to be aggressive here, I think, so start with him. Yeah, she she's gonna come forward and slam you. 
But you did, good. You move up as far as there. Interviews. Defense. And spent a blast on you. Okay. Oh, we got you. Okay, great. Stunts are good when they happen. Right. Ooh, link mail. Uh, who do we give it to? Did we start with her. Okay. On the other side of the brief wood, there's no sign of a camp was ever made here. This is a fake, huh? A fake. They burned a the drift moss for some reason. It always gave me pause that Drowen had discerning noses and prefer pleasant smells. Old trail means we go back to the stream bed. Our quarry must have travelled up it for a while. It was a decent trick. The trail looks more or less the same. Hamish. Overconfidence can cloud our vision. So can overtiredness. His guesses have been good on the whole. It's a short stop for food. Then they're on their way again. Luznok, you were talking about your past before. About Arnie and Einglin. I was done, basically. It was the end of the 20-year conflict. Who's Einglin? Einglin Liverstar was another fighter we ran with. Younger than Arnie, closer to my age. He always helped soften the hard times. Poor Einglin. Now there's someone your mother lit up around. I don't know. Got questions myself. Many of which I've never really wanted to answer. Hmm? Backtracking, they reached the stream that night. Okay, if I'm wrong again, I don't know, but the mud here is smoothed. Like it was done on purpose, so I think it's them. Okay, so dark get extra armor. Okay. Now, uh, let's secure that just work fast. Okay, then let's get on to the next place. I'd like to be able to find items, but we just took too much, we're too, getting too far ahead of us. Okay, so let's get in here for another fight. Sun's lowering, the canopy tosses a gentle aroma around them, like pepper and sage. Hamish, been a hard march today. If you want to stop, I'll make them stop. Definitely a camp here, cook fire. Can see where a kettle stand dug his foot in. Maybe believing we're off their tails. Maybe they thought they lost us with the stream walking trick. Then there's bird path on the, on the rock. And it looks like someone was testing a blade on the trunk. Which trunk? That one by the... Oh. The one by the drive, actually. Okay. So we have two stumps, a dart, and two haunts. Okay, so haunts are something new for us, I guess. And so we start with you first. Let's interviews. The rock and then interviews the tree. Okay, next let's have you shoot them. Okay, so there's some kind of I don't know what you call it, like but it looks like whatever that thing was that they had stops the first attack. Okay, so let's not let's uh, splinter blast. Good. Then you come forward and hopefully kill them. Okay, good. 
so one is dead. Ooh, you got an asshole over here. Okay. Let's have me guardian. Okay. All of the assholes have turned up together. Now he's lost his specialty, whatever that was. So she can slam you. Excellent. And you're dead. I'm gonna bring you. Uh, no, actually. I'm gonna bring you forward. You come to there. And shoot this asshole. Now you get two attacks on this guy. Okay, good. He's dead. Now we just have him to dart to go. Let's interfuse. My discus. Don't do it. Okay, so interfuse. I'm guessing that rock, simply because he's going to be a lot closer to it. He's going to be up there right by the time we're done. Yeah, and then that's you done. Draw them in. Okay, so she moves here. He's going to slam you, but he's going to do something first. Can't discuss there, so discuss from this one. Onto you, good. Okay, that's decent. Then she slams you, which kills you. Beautiful. Now you're going to go march right up beside that guy. Because he's then going to have to step back. You're going to stay out of things because you're badly injured, so do that. He dodged. Next is you. Let's discus. This time from this rock. Okay, got him. Right, well done everyone. Looks like maybe one or even two. Yeah, two level ups. Okay, and then we get that for you. It's the same thing though, so we just salvage it for fabric. Right. I think I want the broad swipes and then we'll do that later. So let's get that. Then for you. Mm. I don't like any of these really. Let's see that though. Hunter's Lodge up on the hill, hidden away. I did have to ask, but someone said they did hear driving in this wood and that they left in a full daylight. Timeline matches well to ours. Our timeline, huh? Hmm? Yeah. Well, I've known a night or two like this, this one. Music Baron. When the woods stand shy to wave in the windless air, with moon and star buried in their thick, fragrant hair, I'll tell you a story that was told to me in trust of the Emerald Red Lady who spoke. No, Dad. Like a guilty dog when his master comes home to a wrecked house, the way you silent up when I call you Dad. But anyway, yeah. I'm not in the mood for stories either. Why are we still out here, Luznok? 
Why is it so important for us to catch these Drowin? Is it about vengeance now? Because I don't know. Kind of thinking that too, though. I'm absorbed in my task, maybe. The night's first breeze is felt. It carries a damp scent. I won't say it for you. No, and you three have earned more than from me than silence and staring. All right, so let me start by saying, it's not about anything in the past. Our time goes by, graves filled in, lives spent, dreams followed. It's not about vengeance. It comes before vengeance. It's love, love for the world and people of the world, people already born and bruised by years and people that are glimmers in the ether. Someday to open tiny, wondering eyes. And you can call me sentimental. Call me doe feather, feeder. Maybe by now you think I'll use words I don't mean in order to speak beautifully, but I promise you. I mean it more direly and seriously than I can really communicate. There's a drought with this host we hunt, who leaves only black timbers and burnt bones where home stood I tracked his passage to the area of the fairground. I should have anticipated what he did there. The Rousnack. That's the name he gave me. A pioneer of ours during the conflict. He spoke Yandric to me, and I taught him to read. Lent him mythologies, and one stupid night I turned him loose. He seemed to be a scholar. I thought myself marvelously kind, but... His quest is for fire, domination, and our end. Too vain. Get moving. The torches are lit for us, and we tempt discovery. Slowed by their efforts to avoid detection and obscure their passage. Versailles band makes for the understone causeway that first granted them entry here. Haste is fear's remedy, too vain. Haste, those fools were days off. They feel peril building at their backs. Every gradual length of ground is excruciating. Okay, so they get a stone throat. Sure, that's not going to be good. Right, so now we get 50 days. Okay, so this time we're going to find an item. So we have the days to spare. Okay, so it's secure. Two hides. Okay, so we got something that gives extra armor. Makes sense for you to have it. Okay, now. Let's go. Yeah, there, there, and there, maybe. So go there next. Okay. Ooh, they got the haunt in there. There's a card to control now. So let's fight this. Hey Hamish, did you wonder, or I mean, how long did you have a thing for me? Huh? Oh, that's, do I have to say? You could have, you could give me something for me. I feel hard and early. I love you, Kemigan, and as long as I sort of thought about you before, just hope we have much longer ahead of us. Quieter, you two. You were good and quick. Went all the way up to the ridge. Hmm, yeah. Saw no one lurking. I still think this place is a little conspicuous. No one comes here. Whole road went this way. Said yourself, this is where their tails go, trails go. It's likely part of how they penetrated so deep into people's lands without raising alarm. You do your magic thing on it. Put my awareness a day down the tunnel, and I can tell a way down the tunnel, and I can tell it's populated. They move low towards the black entrance. 
Never thought you'd be doing this, did you, Hamish? Idiot Hamish. Okay. Okay, so we have a couple of haunts, a couple of darts, three stumps, and a storm throat to deal with. So we see a stump straight away. Let's try to deal with him from the start. Let's interfuse this. This. I'm going to pull him back. And the DNA was to draw him in to us. So you're going to go here. And then she's going to go here. Guardian. Actually, you can probably go there. Then you go there. Guardian. Okay. Wow, that was a hell of a hit. A good block back as well. Okay, now. Start with you. Let's put those down there. And have you strike this guy. Dodge, okay. Well, strike him again. Excellent. Go there, you can get a shot. Let's try that. Good, got some damage, but probably need more. She's gonna go here and Guardian. Okay, good block there. Okay, take that one out. Good. Then she comes forward and slams you. Beautiful. Let's bring you forward to there. Then I want you to interfuse. This barricade. Okay, good. And he's going to move up next to her. <coughs> okay, that's it. Okay, that just opened, so it means more enemies are coming. So I want to maybe pull back into the area here, where we have some protection. Wish he had that, um, what's called the ambush thing. Okay, Guardian. Yeah, so we need to draw them in, so we have to wait. Okay, good. Pin you. It's a good hit there. Good dodge back as well. Okay, got you. Good shot there. I want you to move here. I want you to move here. And this is about trying to draw him down into this area. Let's withdraw from that. And interfuse that in case he goes up around the top. I'll bring you forward. So maybe she can, she's going to slam you, so he's going to hit you first. Oh, that was the wrong person to move. 
Strike. Slam. Okay, got him. Let me move you forward. Silk step to there, because I think we're going to open the door next turn. Okay, more stuff coming. Let's just move back a little bit then. Discus them. Then she can step forward and slam you. Okay, good dodge from her. Okay, now. Let's uh, right, we'll work like that. There, okay. Good. Didn't mean to that, but it worked. Then she slams you. Right, are you the last enemy or not? You are. Okay, good. Let's look at Harlax. Mm, I guess Hamish takes it. Yeah. It'll never be seen again, but you may as well take it. Let's give her the extra health. They need these forces to slow us. If they simply turned on us all at once, I'm not sure we'd stand much chance. They think we have our own warband, Hamish. It's wildlands out there, not many friendly faces, and past. Autum, Autumama field is driving lands. We need to catch them before they reach that far border. How long are we going to throw ourselves in the fire, following whatever you say? I want to get home someday. Okay, well, let's roll and see what it is. Okay, Dad, I'll do this. Even if it's just you and me, we're undeniably fiercer with our pack. Okay, and rivalry. There we go. Rouse Owl. We plan to hunt and forage to mortar our bellies in this wood. The drow will fight exhausted themselves, harried and perplexed by the dogged pursuit. Food is low, spirit is low. Drowsnak would have. You, speaking, stop. Rasal will save us. You will walk in do. Mm -hmm. Trava, at last. What can you tell me? Oh. Okay, they improved their strategies.
Okay, right, so I will be back. Um, so we've got 114 days to do those, yeah. So I need to just hang out some laundry and then I'll record the rest. So we'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm back. We are going to um, I'm going to finish this chapter, I think. I'm recording this on the day that this is supposed to go live, but I want to get the full chapter done if I can. So it means one, two, three, four left for us to do. Well, three really, because we just have to secure this. Let's secure that and find an item. Okay, get some fabric. Okay, non-fall of noon fall of grey bottom. Mm. We'll just salvage that. If it was tier two, I might think about changing it, but no. Okay, some warding. Let's give it to you. Okay, then we go here and scout. Worlds apart. What's wrong? I sense magic. Draven? No, this feels more like something is lingering. Come on, it's this way. What is it? It's an overgrown mess, that's what it is. Help me uncover it. Soon. There we go. Ah, that's a nice, strong font. What a rush. What are you talking about? We just pulled some weeds. I don't feel anything. It's a font of spell thread. It, it feels like someone is pouring honeyed sunlight woven with strands of fire through my body. Honeyed sunlight? Yes, sunlight and starshine. While at the same time, it's an unfurling to the world around you, to the spirit of a place or thing. Objects have spirits? Well, not like conscious ones. It's more that we're connected to everything. Spell thread woven between all of reality. Sometimes I feel like there's an entire world that I'm missing. Okay, let's see. What happens when you touch it? Well, I don't know. I've always sort of Worth the energies from afar. Let's find out. Oh. Whoa. Oof. You okay, Camion? I. Yes, I'm okay. Wow. Like honey and sunlight and fire. And I feel connected. Yes, exactly. To everything around me. Or is there even a me? Am I not the same as that tree? As that... Come on, Camigan. We can chat about this on the road. Did he just become... Uh, it just still says he's a warrior. Okay. Let's see, let's build an outfitter. Okay, good. Now let's go here. Okay, I think we're going to have to assault it because we only have 30, 33 days left. Don't have time to patrol. It's more thaggy, okay. Let's get in and deal with them. 
full formed cavern stretch beneath runway earthworks. Ripney, keep up. We're pushing through. Come along, daughter. Only their back barking echoes answer them. Wait, where's Rivney? Luznok. You were just in front of her. You don't see her along the walls, right? No. I I can't remember the last time I turned around. Probably just wait. They'll be like waiting though. They scour their steps for the last sign of Rivney. Ah, this I found it. Another way. Enormous triangular crevice, and beyond is a tight twisting tunnel. Below them in the coldening ground, in the fungal glow. And you know how I am? To gaze in the eyes of a mystery and not trouble it for its name. I'd be sleepless for weeks. So I hope you'll forgive me under a small absence. Under blade sharp stones, a wider space, a firmer shine. There's a powerful smell, a heart smell, the heart of the mountain. In the first glance, she thinks a massive grey man is hunched over a blue-white flame. But she realises, by any gods at all, what is this? Smooth contour, perfect edges carved, not by tools any hands have held. How many secrets does the hill keep, under graves and dead jaws, in the yawn of her caves? And I do wonder if there's a reality in which I don't at least pluck at that gemstone. Okay, well, let's see. I don't know, but I'm pulled by possibility. Rivni prizes out to gem. Or prize out to gem. All things decay. Most of them beyond our sight. In a way, I'm saving it from obscurity. Rivni wiggles her good knife into the seam between the gem and setting. And only a moment after she's done so, an indistinct tremble travels up the blade. You're aware. Harmonic vibrations. They swell. They sing in the joint of her skeleton. Rivni bends near lowers her knife. I don't see any damn... A thunderclap, a luminous flood. A wet bloody odour and a sulfurous, sulfurous scent of fresh split rock. Time seems to pause and the world fills in with white. And then fades into normal motion, colour. Ah, ow. Where the... What did you just do? Rivni? There was a brilliant gemstone. I found it here. I felt almost compelled to claim it. I tried and now it's disappeared. The vanishing stone, I'll call it. Put your hand on what's not yours. What do you want about? Reach up. Give your eye a little loving squeeze. A short while later. You cannot I can at you can at least see, I can see, through it, facets of things that shouldn't have facets. They'll emerge in daylight and encounter the enemy they'd sought, and Rivni will look at things differently from then on. Yeah, I like how it changes the eyes. Right, so we have two watchmen, a and a spectic. Okay, so this fight, I think it's kind of important that we... Let's start with you. Maybe to here. Yeah, I think it's kind of important that we don't take too much damage in this fight, so let's interfuse that. And then interfuse this. Good. Then we bring you forward. Now we shadow step to there. Then you're going to go here. Hello there. And she's going to go there. Okay. 
Oh, there's the watchman. And the other one. Okay, so they're all coming together. This goes from there. Three damage. Good block there, though. And a good block there. Okay. Let's we start with you. Strike. And then blocked. Okay. Slam you. Okay, excellent. We're gonna this actually you need to move first. So move up to here. Discus from that onto you. Okay, good. Then you move up here. You finish that one. Okay, good. Nice block, and another nice block, okay. So we should be able to finish them here. She's gonna go after you. Slam, you're gone. Then you strike. Okay, great. Gonna get a level up probably, yep. Okay, so for you, <coughs> crippling strike could be good, so we'll go with that. Okay, then this one is block, so we'll give it to you. With battle done, they stand still a moment, warmed over by rays of a lowering sun. The gem casts a tickle of light on Ribney's thoughts. Hey, don't get glum. It's something interesting about you. Someone will love it. Thanks, Dad. You can still fight. You can see and see well. I see the edges and faces of things like I never saw before. It's weird. Hey, that sounds not bad. Or I don't know. I am the wing weaver and gale blown bird, wondering how far the wind would throw me. I wonder whether I'll continue to pay a price. Maybe I'll travel to my heart. It'll travel to my heart. Under my ribs someday, you'll find only a cold, glittering, impervious gem. Whether it was wrath or roar, the trap or a twist of coincidence will always be hard to tell. Years would show how deep the changes go. And an ancient god will dream in darkness. Fresh dreams of new visions above the earth. Okay. So spectic do your spectic eating. Right. So we have 33 days left. You're going to uh, work fast there. Just him. And then they're going to go scout there. Then he has to come and join them. No. Okay. So, 
they can't do that then they've got to go straight there okay let's do it right let's assault strength four they rest in the room the numbers tax their speed then it happens today as a tracker you're very good the thing I worry about now is any life we lose among us will feel firmly like my fault. Dad, we stay together, right? Right. The danger of cornered animals and all. I will say, you don't have to come. This is mostly my fight here. And I know that. And I'm sorry I've driven you all this way. Travznak, his power over flames is sudden and strong. Hill folks took to calling him Dragon or Old Golden Glare. We call my schoolmaster worse things. Here, don't go in front. It's the strong folks up first. Our fortification was once carved halfway up a cliffside where water used to flow. Though its name only lives in the scattered air, its builders breathed, its, its command of the territory was made has made it the site of strife ten times since it fell to ruin. They truly chase us back into the egg. What could drive such a death lust? Okay, so we have, let's see, a stump, a storm throat, two hunts, two darts. Okay. So we've got you first up. You're going to come from that side, right? So. First of all, move you here and interviews that and then interviews this. You're going to step forward to there in Guardian and she's going to go there in Guardian. Then you're going to go there and take your shot. Okay, lucky. Oh, more assholes coming. Okay. So start with you. Let's well grasp you. It's good. You finished them off. No, oh, didn't work. For fuck's sake. Really? Can't even kill the easiest guy. Too many of these assholes turning up now. I shoot a bird and slam you. So kill the one to start. You discus this asshole. Good. Pull back a little bit and shoot them. Come here and strike. Okay. She's a little on her own this problem now. Oh yeah. Right, so that kind of is a big big problem. Right. I think we have to be a little defensive though, so start with you. Let's interfuse this. Then one discus from there onto you. Blocked, beautiful. We love when that happens. You now uh, 
Shoot that guy, because if you crit, you might actually kill him. Nice. Get stumped there. You can move up a bit in Guardian. And she's going to move back down here in Guardian. Okay. Harassing us and damage. Oh, he's down to one health. Okay, shoot the birds. This discus from here. Okay, I think we do that one. Dodge, fuck. I'm so on the fucking dodging. Let's shoot that prick. Yeah, you can hit twice, so... Let's try and kill this guy, because he's the one really making life difficult for us. Then uh, he's gonna die because there's not much you can do. My guardian with you. Good dodge. Okay. We got lucky, I think. Right. Strike. Everything has to hit, that was the thing. Okay, good. And to use the fire. wasn't me. Well, it works still. There we go. Right, how many more rascals are left? Confront the driver leader. Oh shit, so we have to get over there. Silk step. So he's gonna move ahead of the rest. They're gonna keep a little bit back. You don't actually see anything. You cut to there. Interview that. Is this okay? He's going to step on. Drasnak, the blood can stop. Be brave. Drowsnack, we'll end this the way we should have ended it. You say name of Dresnak. Does Soft School know this name? You speak Yandrik. Dresnak did teaching me. Teaching me. Look up, Dresnak. Hamish, I see him. I was foolish to 
chase us. It was foolish to chase us. Dreznak is dead. Bow to Bresol. He is the mighty Dio. Yes, Rek, Kian. Tuvain. Shazak, Skion, Dreznak, In. Quick. Pointless is talking now. Pointless is you living. Be dead. A bird beast blasting call seems to jolt. Even the old stones awake. Then the ruins are alive with scowling dragon shapes. Well, friends, I guess it's our turn to run. Okay, so we've got a raid knight, a dart, and two stumps. And escape the dragon ambush. Dragon keep coming, okay. So where do we have to get to? There, okay. Yeah, so let's just run as fast as we can. Start with you. Go there. He's going to go over that way. Okay, that's as far as we can go. Okay, so next turn we all get off. Hopefully that's going to be soon enough. Looks like it. Right, there we go. Another level up, good. Okay, so tier one, it's got to be for you. Then extra armor. Let's give it to her because she's the heavily armored one anyway. Okay, ability. Let's upgrade his indignance. We don't use that anywhere near as much as we should. I have to change that. It was visible misthinking, Drava, letting them chase us so long. Your hateful little eyes agree with me. Though I suppose these lessons must be learned for wisdom to grow. Other Drawans allows humans escape. Why do? What do you care? They've killed how many of us? Always better. Too vain to let water flow where it will, give it room to leave you dry. I would have preferred they believe Dravznak Dravznak alive, but knowing the truth, perhaps they'll subside back to their human ways, their corn growing, their musk making, and wherever else. Your name be known. That is a good thing I want. Yith, your loyalty is noted, young warlord. Let us hope it is more helpful than annoying. I don't see any shadows up in the path, but I'm going through the water here and starting northwest, head of arrow shot. We'll course correct and head southeast. They eat cold food where their aching feet stop. A shrine here seems to promise safe sleep. The Reznak's dead. Years wasted, and he's just dead. 
what I was thinking was, how do you know what the drow said was true? Couldn't that be they be hiding him from you? The smaller one, called Versal, the way he spoke. Rix, Kirin, Tauvin, Sharsak, Skion, Dresnak, In. You understood that, huh? Roughly. Something to the effect of, shut your lizard trap. Dad, you're going to leave again, aren't you? This time, I want to go with you. It's a long way I plan to go, away from any friends you've made, to lonesome places, in search of lonely wisdom. A lot of this drought and flavoured, I'm afraid, but I'd be happy to have you along. Winter's well underway by the time they return to Grey Rose. There's no hero's welcome. No one really knew why they'd left in the first place. Survivors of the burning, bear ground, don't forget it. But it was time to hold on to last year's horrors. Small disasters need attention. There's hens to feed and fences to fix. Life for many folks in many years falls into a peaceful curve. Okay. Ten years of peace follow. And so we got rid of that. Well, I probably get rid of you or you, but okay. During the years of peace, Kemigan spent hours and hours communing with the spirits of the place. <laughs> the place he visited and exploring that now connecting connection he discovered between all things. New connection. Runway Artworks was unique in that it consisted of a small group of women who had taken a bow of silence. Rudney tried working there, but quit after two weeks. Never thought I'd miss Hamish's blattering. But we surprised ourselves. While out for an evening stroll, Kemigan accidentally locked eyes with a forest squirrel. Kemigan decided to give it a home. Want to stay? Don't make a mess. I'll be back next week. I asked an appraiser how much my eye was worth. What did they say? Less than I thought. What is that rock anyway? Bugnist. Hamish and Kemigan were married soon after they came home. It wasn't long before they were raising a son of their own. In those early years, the boy would be raised where Hamish had been, in the lodge home of his family. Okay, so she transforms, gets a gem leg. Uh, let's go yes for that. Let's see, he gets a bear leg. Yeah, let's see that as well. Right, upgrades, what can we do? Um, that's too much, so we can't do that. Also too much. Well, it's only one, but you might do it. Come back to it. Let's see here. Too much. Too much. I think pretty much everything's going to be too much, honestly. So we we'll just leave them as they are. And up here is where to go for extra work. Some fixing projects, some junk that needs sorting. Kept animals when my wife was still my wife. Door gets rusted closed, so I never used the bolt. Is why you see just a rope and a hook. It blows open, or that sheep tries to eat the rope, or something. Knocks it off its hook. So I'd appreciate you checking up on it when you can. What are you looking at? Cobb's the final sheep. Cobb, huh? Cobby Cobb. What a bright sheep. And of course, she's the last of my sheep. I hate her. Still, she doesn't leave. So, you'll have to feed her. I can do her baths. Alright, so, also in here is... Let me show you what's also in here. 
Also in here is a... Whoa, it's a guy. Yes, I think that's a grown man. And there's another one, a woman rather. Yes, two people, I guess, on balance. Oh, Dad, wake up. That doesn't often happen, but I don't think it's pretty weird when it does. Oh, hang on. Did you say I do think or don't think? I do think it's pretty weird when it does. Okay. Miss Cool Winds were at first welcome with summer starting. Now they lash this yon yondering proud tall trees must bend. Even the stones feel it. High on mountains, jarred rocks plummet off seats they'd held since the mountains were raised. Was half convinced your letter was a fake. Hamish Fenspear, they say you're a dad now. They do? I was excited to stay the summer with my mother and father. Camigan wasn't going to be left behind. Good. Also, good to remember is that absence are always felt. Hey, Ribney, back for rematch? Bet I can win that old battle staff off you now. Camigan Swervain, remember you. Good seeing you. Simple subjects come first. A big warm meal is followed by toasts and a glossy account of all the years. But remembrances are abbre abbreviated. The nature of their business tonight is grimmer, even than it was all those years ago. Good to hear that the problem is still relatively remote, but a journey is needed then. Yeah, and it's dangerous country, more than before. Well, I'm ready to go. Making people slaves, sticking them in rock pits. And why? No, I don't actually care why. I don't know what exactly they're digging for. Or, I barely paid attention to the people. It was the drow when I was looking at. The slaves, I don't know. They move earth. They eat and drink from troughs. Sleep chained to stones and each other. I don't know how many. They're all human, though. Their numbers grow. As this bone helm knight. Has his way with the land and land folks. He and his dragon break any militia force that challenges them. And believe it really is. I haven't seen him, but... The deception, description of his size and sword leave little doubt. Then, in a way, it's our fault. That's too much. We, there's too much we don't know for us to take full responsibility. Yes, maybe, but I can see why you thought to come get us. We're probably the ones who know this. This former captive himself, known best. Fate wears a particular peculiar cloak. It's woven and quiet. When she sweeps through our lives, we sense it, and our hearts lean to follow her. Wooden horn, plain, isn't on any map I own, but we must must be more than a season's walk. Worry about our boy. I'm afraid it'll likely be more akin to a war campaign than a hunting trip. The way I see it, there's a couple distinct ways to go about this. We speed straight towards our enemy and their full force, the way we did last time. Or we can be more methodical, take out driving holdings, weaken their position, while threatening ours. Well, maybe the slower way we can afford a few trips home. I was also thinking that, but I'm glad it was you who said it. Okay, then the shadows deepen. Okay. So that's where we're going to end this one, and then for next week then we'll see how far we get through chapter two. Probably won't do the whole thing. Seems like a lot of stuff to have to get through, but yeah, we'll see. So hope you enjoyed, hope you keep it safe right there, and see you next time. Goodbye.